Ja. So begins. Welcome back to Raven Willow Farmstead. Thank you for joining us so far on this journey, over 4,000 kilometers across the country to this abandoned property. Last episode we brought in the excavator and the bulldozers were shortly behind. It's time to give this property an overhaul. So far in progress we've been widening the driveway, getting rid of all the garbage and, and debris that was left on the property and preparing a site for the house. We had to move all our stuff over there. Set up camp in a new spot. <laughs> They've been working really hard all the way back here. Holy! That's nuts! Culvert's so going in can, uh, under the driveway. They've rammed it underneath and then they're connecting it on the other side and then filling so that when they come in they need like 60 feet for that trailer to pull to back in here. the little apple tree so they wouldn't get destroyed or run over. See what the driveway's looking like now. Completely cleared it, packed it. It's really big gravel. Endless loads of fill and rock. So up until this point we haven't really talked too much about our living situation. Anyone that's lived off grid for any period of time knows the challenges that you go through day in and day out and living in this small trailer with two dogs and two cats um, definitely made some challenges. We lived mostly out of a cooler and went to buy groceries every two days. Um, that's about how long the ice would last in the heat of the summer. Uh, we cooked on a two burner butane camp stove and when we finally got the barbecue that felt like a huge upgrade. We also had no cell service in this particular area and no internet. So every time we wanted to look something up on our phone or check our Facebook social media or just communicate with our families we had to go into town and so we'd do little internet dates um, occasionally throughout the week we'd just go into town and use the internet. Hygiene was also a big challenge when you have no running water, no toilet, and no shower. Uh, so <laughs> when it came to showering, we were able to, uh, to uh, go to a local campground and use their shower while they were still in season. Uh, really appreciate the help there. Uh, we would go to a local spring called the Gorge where you could actually go and fill your water jugs. Uh, from a fresh spring and delicious water. Well, you see the toilet in the videos, the the porta potty. Let's just say the porta potty didn't make it on time. There was a few days there where uh, we went without a toilet as well. Yeah, that was uh, an interesting situation, but we made do. And when it came to power, we did have a Blue Eddy and solar charger, and that was a game changer for both charging our phones as well as the trailer battery so we had lights at night. The what came out? The mice. Oh the mice. Like half a dozen mice just scurrying across the, the landing there. No kidding. No, no kidding. This place looks really different. Okay, so that's gonna be like the driveway. The dad's RV pad is gonna be over against there. Yep. It's already flattened, it just needs some crush on it. Perfect. And then the lines put in. So this will be the house here going that way. But 
Yeah. You're not going to go too far that way because you got to think about a 10 foot deck. Yep. And then 15 feet of uh, the septic system is going to be about 15 feet out. So, as long as it comes about 25 feet from the edge there. For weeks we spent living on a construction site and what felt like being in a fishbowl with all the people watchers that drove by seeing you know what the property is turning into. Uh, so we wanted to go and explore and see what our new province had to offer. So as you do when you're living in a new location you try to find out what the quickest route is from point A to point B. Well Google Maps decided that this was the closest route. Um, this road was impassable at the time, like regardless of the rain that we had just gotten, it was a mud pit and, and rocky to boot. To boot. To boot. <laughs> to boot. Yeah. Oh, nice. I can't even begin to describe how excited we were to go to the beach only 15 minutes from our house. Being landlocked in Alberta for 10 years and not really having any lakes or water, it was just so nice to be able to get up and go to the beach. Go digging? So happy. <laughs> oh, she got wet. Okay, I'll, I'll do it a little further away from the shore this time. Who's that, Ben? Don't <laughs> <laughs> open your mouth. Oh, she got <laughs> it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what are you going to do with him? Oh, well, he is trying to do, watch him pinch him. Look at her. She just loves her roll. Yeah. This beach is on the Northumberland Strait, the warmest ocean waters in Canada. So we are just so excited to bring our kayaks and explore the coastlines. Welcome to Shediac, home of the world's largest lobster and the capital of the world when it comes to lobster fishing. This is a great tourist destination and we wanted to explore Shediac to find out what it had to offer. at the property we decided to enjoy a little bit of the outdoors before we get hit by this storm that was coming. We weren't entirely sure what to expect other than strong wind and rain but we wanted to make sure that us and the animals would be safe. So we didn't know how long the storm would last and if everything didn't work out in our little trailer we could always go into town to seek shelter. This lovely fire pit the rub built. We have all the cinder blocks on the property. What are you doing? Oh, and we built a nice bench. Good job, honey. Thanks.
<laughs> just staring at the wall. He stares into the corner. The this thing. is the safest spot. <laughs> right here. Oh, he turns us barely up. Wish I could see outside there. Now it's lessened. Man, that was fast. Thankfully, by the time the hurricane hit over us, it was downgraded to just a post-tropical storm. It was mostly just a lot of rain and wind, and this poor little screen tent um, didn't really survive. It was such a game changer for us with the mosquitoes, um, but unfortunately it didn't hold up. But at least we survived our first hurricane. What a goof. Long. French? I'm attempting to. I put the string on this branch. What? Oh, those are tooth marks. Holy moly. So we found black mold on the cushions. Oh, there she is.